Hey everyone, in this one we are going to continue our discussion on range, and this is an output we had from the previous video, and it seems to be working fine, it's counting up one number at a time, however there's actually a third argument you can use with range, and that is going to change the interval of how it counts. So if you go in here, and you put in another argument, and you can see there's actually a third option here, which is the step. So if we go in here and put a 1 and run this, we get the exact same output because it's going to count by 1, which is actually the default. However, if instead we go in here and put a 2, well check this out. Now it's going to count by 2. So this is an interesting way you could get all even or all odd numbers. You could just start with an even number and count every 2. In this situation, we're getting all the odd numbers because we started with 231, we get 235, and it just skips all the even numbers. All the way up to 499, 500 does not get included because it skips that. 2 after 499 would be 501, and that is exclusive because that's the stopping point for range. You can also manipulate this to do other things, such as count backwards. So let's say we started at 200, and we went to 0, and then we put a negative 1 here. Well, if we start at 200, remember this is inclusive, so 200 will be in the output. Zero, the second argument here, the stopping point, is exclusive. So the zero is not going to be included, so it's going to stop at one. So running this, we run it all the way from 200, and it stops at one. If you wanted to include the zero, all you would have to do is make that a negative one. Running that, and you get all the way to zero. So there you go guys, that is your introduction to range. Stay tuned for the next video because we're going to use range to create a pretty cool program. So yeah, be sure to subscribe too, you know? Gotta hit that sub button.